the higher the bun, the more intellectual you look. Oh yeah, that's a good one, okay. What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here to review Buff Bunny's Marble Collection. It is launching on April 17th at 1 p.m. Central Time. So that is this Saturday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Now, I wasn't with Buff Bunny when they did their first round of marble pieces or marble collection, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. But they did send a bunch of like newer pieces and fabrics that I haven't really had before since working with Buff Bunny. So I'm really excited to try all of that on. I haven't tried anything on yet, so whatever impressions I have, it'll be the first one, genuine impression, review, whatever. So in this video, I am gonna be going over the main questions, which are typically fit, style, my top pieces, squat proof, if it's squat proof, if it's not, which I know is a big deal because there are white pieces coming out and they sent me white marble shorts. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous about the white marble shorts, but we're gonna try them, squat proof test them, and I'll let you guys know how it works. Here are my stats. I haven't gone on a scale in a minute and I'm gonna measure myself like brand new so the numbers might be different. We're just gonna dive on in and I'll let you guys know the pieces that I'm wearing, the sizes that they sent me, what I think about them, and you know, just if you've been around for my reviews, you know it's about to go down. So we're gonna get it started. Okay, so the first outfit I had to put on was the black marble i'm going to start off with reviewing the jade mesh bra again this is black marble you can see the little bits of marble detailing others say it looks more like lightning but you know i think buff bunny did a pretty good job here's the back and the reason why it's jade mesh is because of this mesh panel here you guys have seen this style of bra before with the citrus um color i believe it's like the light lavender purple with the black uh, citrusy looking vibes to it that came out during the summer so you have seen this style bra before it's the same exact fit style fabric all the same it's definitely like a medium support bra the straps aren't adjustable it comes with bra pads i got a size small i'm a small typically in all of my sports bras and i do like the jade mesh bra it's one of my favorite style sports bras um, from Buff Bunny. I love the cross back, which you guys know how much I love strappy backs, but really it's just your very simple like staple piece kind of bra. Like if you want something that has a cool pattern that's not too like wow in your face, this could be it. For my bigger chested curls, I think you'd be good to go in this just because the neckline is higher than normal, but it's not like up to here. It's not super low. It holds everything in place, which is great. That's really all I can say. This isn't too restrictive either. You can see I have a little bit more room and I got a size small. But yeah, this is the Jade Mesh Bra. One of my favorite pieces for sure. And yeah, we're gonna move on to the matching leggings. These are the Limitless leggings. It goes with the Jade Mesh Bra. It's also in the black marble material. I will say that the leggings are lined with white on the inside of the legs, so it should help it be more squat proof. They're your spandexy, um, a little bit slippery of a material. You guys have seen the Limitless leggings before. They came out in the Rebel launch, the black and white leggings. I actually have them, I'll show you one second. So these leggings are the exact same style, fit, from where the pockets are and everything, they're the exact same to me. If anything, these feel a little bit thinner than this does, but just like how this is lined with white on the inside, so are these. So that's just good to know that this material is lined. They are high-waisted. There is a front seam, which I don't know if you can see it, but I have them hiked up and I don't have any CT problems, which is good. Again, they have pockets and the solid paneling on the side, which is good. This is how they fit in the back. Um, I wanted to show you guys that when you pull the material apart, as you can kind of see, it's already getting lighter, but you can kind of see the difference in shade. So just so you know, like it doesn't get more see-through the stretchier they are. That white lining is really doing a good job. This material can roll down. I would think if it's if you get a size that's too small, I think it would roll down. I think they run true to size. I'm a true size small in all my leggings. So we're gonna do a squat test now. And you can see that it turns wider. So it's not see-through, it just gets wider because of the lining underneath. So that's the Limitless Leggings and the Black Marble. These are also one of my favorite style leggings just because they are like pretty athletic and stretchy. 
they do really well on leg days and I really do like them. Again, this material can roll down, so I'll show you guys like, it barely rolls just a little bit. When I was sitting down today, they rolled some, but it is what it is. But these are one of my favorite leggings from them. Size small. And that's that. This is the Limitless jacket. It is the same material as the leggings that I just showed you. They also sent it to me in black marble. I will say that it's not as fitted as the jacket they released during the Rebel launch. I'll put the name of it and the style up here if it's still on the website. So it's not as fitted as that. The materials are completely different. This has thumb holes. It has a little bit more stretch to it in the arms. Like it's a little bit more loose than the previous jacket I was just talking about. It has zipper pockets on the side here, which is nice. That's good. It does fit like my figure nicely because it's cut for like a women's cut. I appreciate that. This is fully zipped. Um, there's no hood in the back. I don't think there's any pockets. It's just a flat back. And this is what it looks like fully zipped with the seaming detail across here, which is cool. It's not like a style jacket that I'm used to. Like I would never do like marble on marble on marble. That's a a lot of freaking marble, but I do like my jackets more fitted. So whenever I layer it in the winter time, I can put like a vest over it. I think it would look great with like solid colored leggings and sports bra, just to give you kind of like a pop. But this is the limitless jacket. If you like fitted jackets, this could be for you. This is what it is, size small. And now we'll switch on to the white shorts. So I do want to talk about the limitless shorts but i put on the eco sports bra this color is sapphire it's actually like a really pretty coral orange red color this is the back which i've never had a back this style before and i really like it i got a size small it's pretty snug i would say this is more compressive than the jade mesh sports bra for sure i think it's way more compressive the straps aren't adjustable though so that could be a thing for you I don't know i say it's true to size as well just because i was able to put it on pretty easily but what i really wanted to show you guys was that this was their tag on it which i respect a lot it says old plastic water bottles never look so good this is part of their eco line the pieces with this tag so not all of them or in the eco line but the ones that are have this eco tag on it and it says that they were created using recycled fibers plastic bottles and glass i think that that's really cool i think that's a really cool thing to add into clothes good job buff bunny for wanting to recycle save the planet yeah i mean it's just like a really simple sports bra i mean if you want to like save the planet get a recycled sports bra it actually fits great the material feels great for recycled materials as well and yeah, I just really liked the fact that it was like made out of recyclable stuff. I think that's awesome. And it fits great, true to size. And that's about all I got for you. It's pretty good. I like it. These are the Limitless shorts and they sent them to me in a small. If you guys have watched prior try on hauls, I like my shorts in mediums just because it's how I always want my shorts. The smalls fit fine. They're snug to my waist, but they're still pretty good stretch to them. That was a good pop. They're hugging my thighs a little bit, which I'm fine with. Like you don't really see too much of that like push on my skin type thing. Now if I hike them up, you'll see that it really like cuts into my, like this pat this part that like females just don't like, you know, it really cuts into there. But that's how I would wear them. There's full coverage in the booty, which is great. I really like that. Yeah, I'm really nervous because smalls typically roll up on my legs or my waist there's usually some snaps with like the seaming which there is a front seam here ladies so just be ready we're gonna do a squat test i believe this has the same white lining that the leggings have the black marble leggings i have black underwear on so this is like the ultimate test for squat proof i'll even crank up the ring light a little bit all right let's see i don't know i can't tell i don't think you can see anything Okay, if I come up here and I pull it apart, I don't really see, uh, I don't know guys. I see a little bit of my skin tone. I'm also pretty tan, so maybe, uh, I don't know. This, I would not wear these on leg day. I'll just tell you that to be safe. Do not wear this on a leg day. That's coming from me. Somebody else may feel different. Somebody else may have already done it and said they're fine. So watch a lot of reviews, but for me, I personally will not be testing the limits of this white marble on a leg day. 
I'll love them for yoga or upper body days or like walking, but I definitely would not test them on a leg day. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, they're holding pretty nice, which is good. Squatting, they're staying in place. I mean, overall they fit great. You know, for a size small, I would say if you want a little bit more stretch or like room, I would size up. Like I definitely would probably get these in a medium still. Even though the smalls fit well, I'd still probably do a medium just to feel a little more comfortable. But there you go, the limitless short. Do not wear it to the gym on leg day. That's my opinion. Yeah, let's move on. So another thing I was really excited about is that Buff Bunny sent me two like actual short sleeve tops. And I've been wanting to wear like a little bit more tops, not just sports bras to the gym. So I'm really glad they sent me a couple. They are like women's cut, which doesn't always fit me very well because I have like broad shoulders and a wider back. So I'm curious to see if I really like the fit of these, but I appreciate them sending them to me. This is also a part of their eco line. I believe it's their atomic top in the color quartz. And how to describe this color, I'm just gonna scoot up to show you because I can't really describe it. It's like a pinkish lavender type mix. I do like this little keyhole detail. I think that's just a really awesome detail to have in the front. It is like a pretty short so shoulder sleeve. I mean, it hits me pretty well. So like the delts look okay. Um, you can kind of, well, I think it fits fine. I think a medium would be like too boxy for me. So I would say these are pretty true to size. I like the length too, how it's like still a crop, but it's not too long, it's not too short keeps everything covered. This is the back, which is an open back. Again, just a really cute detail to have. I wanna say for a short sleeve top, I probably wouldn't work out in this. I feel like I would more likely wear this with like denim shorts or like jeans or like something I would wear like out and about. I don't know if I would really train in this just yet, just cause it is pretty tight under my armpits, which is like, I don't like that I can feel that. But again, I have really broad, shoulders so it's just cap sleeves like this i always have an issue with like being too tight under my arms or like fitting my delts weird it's just how my makeup is but i know if i sized up it would be too long and too like boxy so you know if you have broad shoulders it's a really tough call but if you're not super like wide up top i think this would look really good on you the material is great it feels similar to the sports bra since it's also part of the eco line it's thin it's breathable very very stretchy i could probably ooh, tying that would be super cute okay so you could tie it if you want to make it more cropped that that's adorable this is the atomic crop i wouldn't i want to say it's true to size i really do I just don't think I would get a medium because it wouldn't fit me the way it's supposed to. Super cute, very girly, very soft, and we're gonna carry on. Okay, so I figured I would move on to the next top that they sent me. This is the Solar Banded Crop Top in Sea Salt. It's more of like a really see-through white color. It's pretty white to me, but I like the fit of this more than the other crop top I just tried on, simply because it's more fitted, so it's like just more flattering on me, and the shoulders, fit the same it's the same cap sleeve so it's still snug under there but i like the fit a little bit more i like the length too this is also another shirt that i'd probably wear like outside of the gym for sure like i think it's just a really cute staple top just to add to your wardrobe and this is the back very simple it has this cute little mesh detail here and this is a size small this is another shirt where i think if i sized up it wouldn't fit me the way it's supposed to. For these crop tops, I highly recommend watching a ton of other reviews because some girls really love crop tops like this. Some just don't like them. They're not a fan. So I would definitely watch more than just my review and listen to other girls, especially finding some that are like your similar size, um, body shape or whatever it is, just so you can make sure you get something that you actually love. If I was shopping on the website on launch day, I would definitely pick this crop over the the atomic crop top just because this is more my style i like it better it's more fitted and flattering to me but other girls might like the atomic top better so again watch other reviews don't just listen to my opinion that's my spiel but here it is up close i felt something up here oh you guys are gonna die i have it on backwards <laughs> we'll be right back <laughs> all right now that I have it on the right way, <laughs> you know, 
it's a Monday. It's a Monday that I'm filming this. That's my excuse. It still fits great. It's the same, just the mesh is in the front where it's supposed to be. I would still get this top over the atomic crop. You know, this is the fit and I'm just, we're gonna move on to the other pieces. That's that. <laughs> All right, next we have the hybrid set. So it's hybrid leggings and the hybrid sports bra. This is also part of the eco line. So it's recycled materials. This is probably my favorite sports bra, the hybrid sports bra, you guys. Like one, I don't have big boobs and this makes it look like I do. It's very flattering. Um, I got a size small. It's snug, but like compressive around here, which is great. And y'all the back, let me just, like, I freaking love it. I love how that looks. I love open back sports bra so you can show off all of the back gains like this. This is probably top recommended piece, in my opinion, is a hybrid sports bra. This color is called Nearly Natural. It's like a deep forest ivory green, whatever you want to call it. It's a deep, deep green color. And this is the bra again. I got a size small. This is up there. This, this is top top pick top pick for me will i get this in other colors you freaking bet i will i really love this i got nothing else to say i think it looks great and i'm i'm really happy about this one so we're gonna just move on okay these are the hybrid leggings also in a small uh and the nearly natural so the same green color recycled materials you know so these were these are very compressive like i cannot really pull any of this off okay but i still would say i would stick with your normal size so listen to what i say about it and then you can decide for yourself here's the waist which is pretty good high waisted no front seam which is great it has this little seaming detail along the front here on the side and that's about it now these were a legging that i had to like inch up each leg because it's so compressive that i know if i yanked it like something would have happened so just to forewarn you guys, this is first wear, not washed yet. That's how careful I had to be with putting these on. These are definitely way more compressive than the Limitless. They're more compressing to me than the Rosa Pocket or Rosa leggings. They fit almost as compressive as the Step Up legging that was just released, but it doesn't like form with your curves like the step up does if you watch that last review the step up review or er, step up legging like really forms with you this material is so compressive that it's kind of like squishing my butt instead of like flattering it but usually when i just do a couple of these and like squat it looks better after washing it could fit different the material could loosen up a bit you never know uh that's probably something you'll have to ask me on my instagram page after i wash everything today but this is the hybrid legging. Uh, if you love your compressive fitted leggings, this is it. They're pretty slippery, similar to the limitless legging, but they feel a little bit thinner, I guess. It's really hard to describe, but let's do the squat test. I don't see anything. So they look squat proof to me and they're not falling down, which is great. They're staying where they're supposed to. The waistband like didn't even move at all. So that's awesome. That's about it. They're pretty long for me too. I'm 5'3", so all my leggings are pretty long, but I mean, that's really it. I, I do like them. I mean, I'm torn. I would probably pick the Limitless over this legging just because the Limitless are easier for me to pull up without me worrying about like doing anything. But as far as like compression and like comfortability, they're pretty comfortable. I don't know, guys. It, I'll wear them for a workout this week and I'll share a deeper review of them after I work out, but this is them. And now we have, I think, one more piece and we're done. So they sent me this tank, which is actually really, really comfortable. I'm very shocked at how much I like this tank because normally like women's cut tanks, like just don't, I just don't like them. But this is also part of the eco line, recycled materials. It feels very similar to the leggings, the bra, it's the nearly natural, the same green color. So I'm literally green all out. But anyways, they gave me a small in this. I do like the keyhole feature in the front. I think that's really cool, cute, stylish, you know. And then the back, like, I love open back tanks. Just because when you wear really cool sports bras, it can look really epic in the back. 
and style and detail matters. So this is, I think this is up there for at least like top three. Yeah, I can safely say this is a top three pick for me, this tank, because look at like, look at the stretch. And I got a size small. I would definitely say it's true to size. It's another tank that is so stretchy. If you wanted to tie it, you probably could. So I love this, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's close this video out with some last minute thoughts and we'll just end it there. Okay, you guys, so that is all I have to say about the Marble launch and the items they sent me. I would say my top three picks this launch, if you had to just get three things, would be the hybrid sports bra, because it's beautiful. Uh, the limitless legging, because I love the comfort, fit, and just like, they're really comfortable to work out in. And ee, I'm still torn between the Jade Measure Botanical Tank. Maybe get both, maybe do a top four instead of the top three. But those are my favorite pieces, you know? And I also highly recommend getting something from their eco line, the eco pieces, just because like, you guys should get a feel for what they put time and effort in to create. I think it's really cool and I really respect that they, you know, are just really taking saving the planet into initiative. I think that's awesome. They actually fit really comfortably. I'm very surprised. Would never be able to tell that it's re recycled stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful. I'm going to try and get this up really early. So if you have any more questions or anything, you can comment or DM me on my Instagram. Uh, make sure you like this video if it was helpful. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of these videos. Uh, if you use code Gabby, please, please, please let me know. It's a direct support code for me. It's not a discount code. I wish it was, but it's not. If you use it, please let me know so I can thank you because I really appreciate it and it always lets Buff Bunny know how I'm doing. And that's really all that I got for you guys. So I hope you're excited. Comment down below what you're most excited for and what you're going to try and snag on launch day, April 17th, 1 p.m. Central Time. I will be competing with you guys for some of these pieces because I will be stocking up on my own. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Oh my gosh, if you continued watching through the YouTube try on haul that I just did for the Marble Collection, it is your lucky day. I am doing a giveaway on my Instagram for two gift card winners for this launch. I'm also doing a giveaway here on this video. So if you've watched all the way through and you want to enter a giveaway to win a $50 gift card to either put towards the launch or whatever you want that's Buff Bunny, what I need you to do is to comment down below. Um, what should I let you comment? Comment your favorite item that you're most excited for in this launch or an item you cannot wait to try that you've just been waiting to try and the gift card might be used to buy it, you know? So basically comment your favorite item from Buff Bunny. And by doing that, I will make sure to keep track of that and the winner for that giveaway will be selected just from those comments. So your comments will not be mixed with the Instagram comments, it's completely separate. So yes, this is your YouTube giveaway. Uh, comment what you're most excited for from Buff Bunny, any piece ever at all. And make sure you put your Instagram handle as well so I can tag you guys on my story that you won. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below to enter the giveaway, your favorite item from Buff Bunny or what you want to try. And I will select winners probably on Thursday or Friday and I will get your gift cards ready for you by launch day on Saturday. Okay, bye.